All right, can I ask, uh, what are you out here today uh, advocating for? Representing women's rights. Got to bring Trump down, impeach him, take him out of office. He's being really stupid right now. This is my sign. What's your sign say? <laughs> Game from the fight. 919. What is 911? 919 is Jerome and Raleigh. So I came all the way from there. Oh, for Raleigh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> just, <Quite a> <laughs> yeah. All right, so women's rights. Uh, I think uh, here in the U.S., had, it's been very successful in advocating and establishing equal rights under the law between men and women, right? Uh, and that's so much that today, now, I find it difficult to point, like, what is one right that a man has that a woman doesn't? Well, one thing that comes to my first is, like, our paychecks are not equal. You know what I'm talking about? We need to get paid just as much as just as much as men. We do oh, probably more oh, work. Well, right. hold on. It just recently, a couple of years ago, has birth control been something that has been mandated to be covered under health insurance, whereas Viagra has always been something that's been covered. So By uh, uh, government health insurance? By government health insurance? No, not government health insurance, but like, like under Obamacare required to be covered by all insurance companies. That's yeah. only recently been a thing. So we're still pretty far behind with women's rights if that's something that has just recently been implemented. All right, so you're saying that there's no access to a birth control. There is now. There is access. Yeah, okay. there, now there is. But I mean, what do you say? There's always been access to birth control before that, right? Condoms it is a form of birth control. Been, okay. It hasn't always been required to be, like the pill hasn't always been required to be covered under health insurance. That's a new thing, and not everyone wants to use condoms. Some people in committed relationships who don't need to worry about STIs and STDs want to just take a pill and not have to worry about that. Yeah, those are like yeah. other forms of birth control. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, other forms have been offered, but some yeah. people don't want to use condoms. Some people want to use the pill, and that should be their right. Also, women all over the country don't have access to abortions when they need it. That's a women's issue, and men don't need abortions, but women do. So that's something that shouldn't be. That shouldn't even be a conversation. So. Right. Do you think? Uh, like Planned Parenthood, that the money should come from the government. I mean, if you want a, an abortion clinic, you should, that should be properly funded, right? Abortions like, like, are already not covered by the government. Planned, Planned Parenthood gets funding from the government, but it's against the law for money from the government to go to abortion. So that's not even an issue. You're, the, you're trying to make a fake conversation that's not even one that should be had right now. I'm not making a fake conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm asking money. They do get money towards that. I don't know for what practices they're using for, but I'm saying... But they're not even part of the issue like my like question was shouldn't things that we want right be funded voluntarily consensually privately yeah right I okay mean, yeah, sure, yeah sure if you want if you want to get an abortion you should pay for it yeah. but you should at least have access to it there are women who just don't have access to it okay all right, all right. So maybe the government's getting in the way of that right I, I agree the government gets in the way of a lot of things we want right uh, I think for the most part government shouldn't even be involved at, at all in our private lives and what we do with our own bodies Right? Yeah, with our private bodies. Private yeah. Body. yeah, yeah. So we, we agree with that. Yep. Uh, so you were making an earlier statement about uh, a pay gap. Uh, the pay gap that, that was published, did you know, never accounted for the number of hours worked or the type of job or education? Uh, they just did like. Conversation about opportunity. They did. Uh, they like did. White women who are wealthy have built their wealth based on the backs of women of color. Women of color have been hired to, to babysit their children and make seven dollars an hour while a woman goes and makes thirty dollars an hour and that's part of the pay gap like women of color make less than white women like the the pay gap is not like white men or all men make this much money compared to all women it's white men it didn't, really, it didn't include color at all it just said women in general and, and all men uh, yes i understand but the conversation is an intersectional one but so it's not the study also if you want to talk about hours worked women have to work less hours because the government won't fund daycare and then they make less money. I mean, public yeah. school is just a form of daycare, right? Are you going to send your kids to public school when they're yeah, six months old? I would never want old? to, but I'm saying you government uses that, right? Public school when they're six months old. Uh, but so, but but that's 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 regardless. The fact, the fact is, right through the studies, they didn't base it on color. They based it on you're a woman, how many, um, how much money you made, and divided by how much men then. And then it's up to you to look into why the issue. Uh, right, right, so we could kind of look at uh, it's up to you. right, but it, they never added. Um, that men worked uh, like tens of thousands of hours more than women, and when you divide that, you get 73 percent. For longer, this they're is, not, not obligated to take care issue. of the kids like women are. Right? Yeah. yeah so, if yeah. they're treated equally, if they're treated equally, then there shouldn't even be a question about pay gap. Because what if men wanted to go take care of their kids too? Okay. Actually, that is a good point. Actually, so it, one explanation could be 
that the kind of work, so may might work overtime, but women are also doing equal amount of work, you could say, in the household, child rearing, like you're mentioning, right? Uh, keeping the house, that is work, right? So there are other solutions. Right, yeah, yeah, it's unpaid, but I'm saying that uh, there are reasons maybe why they're not working you could say in the job hours as men, but they are putting the same hours in other areas, which is equally important. This, right? Yeah, but they're Such not paid. But, but, but of course it's not, but, but I'm saying there's an explanation that there is no 76 to... Do you understand what facts, to, to understand what facts are? Do, are you acknowledging that there are facts? Because you are not. Can you name a fact then? Women yeah. do not work as much hours because when they have children, there is nowhere for them to send these kids and they have no means to have somebody watch their kids while they go work. Okay, so if I were to have a baby right now, okay, I'm in college. There's nobody that could watch my child between the age of, like, from when they're born to five years old. So I, and I, I don't have the means to hire somebody to watch the, this kid. So then I have to stay at home while my husband goes to work and I am married. And that's exactly what would happen if I would have a kid today. And women work less because of situations like this. If you look at any other European country that has nationalized daycare, women are working more. And the pay, the, the pay gap is a lot smaller. What's wrong from working at home there or staying home with your kid? Why would you want to give it to the strangers? That keeps you... At a daycare, why would you give two strangers to take care of your kid? Why don't you have some other be there to be your child? Far enough back. You as a man, not you. you okay, I'm not gonna say you and not you. Are you assuming? I don't know your life. Gender? Actually, bruh, this is <laughs> you present yourself as a man. Okay. Yeah, so, so you're assuming so you, that you're yeah, generalizing. I am. Okay. I am. Okay. Yes, I am. So it's okay to generalize. Yeah. Sometimes. It's okay to. Assume. Yeah. I have okay. people like you. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So people like me. Yeah. People like you. Okay. So men. Can, can leave their kids in daycare with their wives and they can go to work, okay? And what you don't understand is that when you take time off of work to watch your child for six months, two years, five years until you can send them to kindergarten, that's time where your career is not progressing. You cannot be working and therefore you cannot be promoted, you can't be reaching out to new people, you can't be networking, you can't be making all these different opportunities that men can be making during that five years, okay? People like you are not cases, and this is a fucking waste of time. So that's your last comment. Yes. Yeah, irrational, emotional outburst. Sorry to hear that. I would give you many facts. You give me any many facts. facts. Yeah, you I said that the fact. pay gap was never based on the amount of hours that worked or the kind of uh, job you work. Gave me one I gave you that. A huge conversation. I, that's that's and a you fact. Any you you stated no statistics. You, you gave assumptions, and, and I said that those are good reasons to raise your kid at home.